Welcome back to Engineering Graphics class. In this session, we will going to discuss how to solve the projection of points problem using Solid Edge V18 software. Let me discuss the question. The question is given like this. A point P is 45 mm above HP, 60 mm behind VP and 30 mm from right profile plane RPP. Draw the three principles view of the point. Also state the quadrant in which it lies. So here we can see above HP and behind VP. So above HP and behind VP comes in second quadrant. So we can say this point is lying in second quadrant. The point P is lies in second quadrant. Okay. Now come to the second quadrant. So we can represent that. Uh, draw the XY line. And for second quadrant, both VP as well as HP will be above XY line. The second quadrant, both VP as well as HP above XY line. That means both front and top view comes in a one side. That is above XY line. Now we need to take the point option in the line option, point take point option, and then take the phantom. And here the thickness you can make it as whole five. 5 mm and you can uh, keep that point in somewhere in the uh, in our abo xy line uh, the distance they given 45 mm and 60 mm so we need to keep the two points in the same line one is 45 and other one is 60 mm after keeping the two points in the in line so we can now we can give the distance here using distance between take the point and xy line and then give the distance first lower distance will give 45 and then again uh, take the point and go to the line and then give the the distance 60 so now we got the two uh, points and uh, now we need to identify which is the front view and which is the top view so we know that above hp distance above hp distance will be shown in vp so above hp whatever it comes that comes in vp so vp means front view so that 45 is above HP. So this one we can take it as P dash because uh, the front view we can denote with the dash. And this one is behind VP comes in HP. So it becomes top view. So P dash and P. And now after finishing this we can take a line and a normal line. Join these two points along with that and draw the line up to the XY. Okay, like this. so now this is the front and top view is finished and they given one more this is from uh, 30 mm from right profile plane so right profile plane will be from here this side after finishing this uh, the next step is uh, we need to take the right profile plane the 30 mm from the uh, rpp right profile plane we need to draw it so go to line normal line just draw a vertical line so this one will be x1 y1 this is the right profile plane here so you can write down this is uh, RPP and now this right profile plane from the point it is 30 mm so we can use the distance between command and select the line and the vertical line and we can give the distance 30 okay and for this one we can name this one as a x1 and this one is y1 and after finishing this now they said the the three principal views that is front view top view finished and as well as side view we need to draw it so your left side view that is comes in the right profile plane we need to draw so to do that first we need to draw a 45 degree line on the profile plane angle 45 degree draw the 45 degree line and next so here always we need to draw the line from the uh, top view that is top view here from the top view to up to the xy line and then draw vertical line downside and then from the front view we need to extend the line where it will intersect that one so that is the side profile uh, side view so we can use the trim option to trim the extra portion and this point will be the side view go to the points and we can take the phantom and the thickness is we can take 5 and we need to keep it on that intersection point and we can name this point as 
P double dash. Okay, this is the final or uh, the front front view, top view, and side view. 